Hi, I'm Addie with The Verge here at the 2015 Game Developers Conference, and I'm here with MindMaze's MindLeap platform, which is a body tracking and brain tracking VR headset system. What I'm wearing right now seems like a pretty typical VR headset, and it's got a kind of connect-like set of sensors on the front here. So I actually can see you right now, and I'm looking at some fire that's on my hand. It's tracking my fingers pretty accurately, actually. Um, considering that this is a difficult technology to get right. The thing that's interesting about this isn't just that it's able to track my hand, it's that ideally, although it's not doing it right this minute, it can also tell how I'm feeling. So if I'm able to calm down enough, this fire is going to turn into ice. Um, so this is the sort of medical technology that you can use to control bionic arms, but they're using ultimately a version that's going to be sort of simplified. So it can tell sort of basic stress levels, um, it might be able to tell things like facial expressions or motion. So right now I'm in a combination of virtual and augmented reality. If I look to the right here, I see some fire on my hands and I can also see whatever is going on. And then I turn my head and now I'm in the void of space and instead it's tracking my fingers as some blue dots. This combination of VR and AR isn't unique to this, but it's an interesting fairly seamless setup. There's also just a headband that they have that has four sensors and it's able to track whether you're frowning or whether you're calm. And so you can play a fighting game like this. Uh, if you frown at somebody, you'll shoot at them. And if you just relax, you block. I'm not wearing a full neural mesh. It would involve putting a lot of glue on my head and uh, fitting some sensors down here, but ultimately it's going to look a lot more like that headband. It'll just have strips across here and it will be able to track some fairly simple functions. So this isn't going to be something you'll be able to buy in stores. Uh, they're actually trying to make partnerships so they can license this technology and put it into other VR headsets or other motion tracking devices. But for right now, it's a really interesting setup and combination of a lot of technology that could be part of the future of gaming.